Hi there everyone. Um, yeah, Saturday at Wimbledon was a good day. This barometer turned up. It's a reproduction, but no problem. And it's based on a design which was attributed to a certain Mr Fitzroy. Admiral Fitzroy. And it was that gentleman who introduced the weather forecast. I've got a short brief history about him. Um, he was born let me get the glasses on. He was born at Ampton, Suffolk in England in 1805. He sailed on the HMS Beagle which was the ship that Darwin sailed on. In fact he sailed with Darwin he was the second governor of New Zealand. In 1851 he was elected to the Royal Society supported by Darwin himself. He coined the, the term forecasting the weather. Unfortunately, like a lot of these very very clever people he virtually was destitute at the end of his life and committed suicide which um, we've seen in other famous people including Armstrong of radio fame he jumped out of a, one of the wind, windows of a skyscraper and he was buried not a million miles from where I'm standing now Upper Norwood which is near Croydon. More information on that gentleman can be found on Wikipedia. Anyhow, let's get back and have a look at this barometer, sometimes called a frame barometer. Um, as I said earlier, this is um, actually a reproduction. Go a bit closer. I'll do it in bits now because we'll see what we've got. It is basically a tube of over 30 inches don't ask me what that is in metric filled with mercury and is based on the uh, discovery found by Torricelli who was a um, student of Galileo remember Galileo and his um, a pump he couldn't pump up a certain depth of water and it was his student who found out why. So you have this uh, tube which is filled with mercury, you invert it and at the top you get what is known as a Torricellian vacuum and this upset the church a lot because they said a vacuum couldn't exist. All right, it's in inches, got your same thing, fair change, take that with a pinch of salt, it's what the barometer actually does. The two pointers, that's one is what it was on the other day and what it is today. In fact, there's no change. The last couple of days have been no change. You've got this typical um, sayings that are on there. I won't, read, I won't read it all. What I will do. For those that want to read it, I'll have to stand on their head or on their side. That's on that side. Just pause the video and it'll, you'll see what it says. Hopefully it'll come out okay. There's your tube which goes down to the bottom, which has what they call a cistern. Mercury's in there. The little black screw undoes to allow the air to come in. If you're transporting it, you would lean the tube over so that the mercury comes to the top then screw that black thing on tight or well, not too tight and you can transport it by laying it down there's, there'll be no problem two other instruments with it is a normal a thermometer
they'd all had these on them. It is a direct copy or a reproduction. And on the other side, you have what's called a storm glass. How these work, I don't know. But they're also, uh, whether they were invented by Fitzroy himself, I don't know. But obviously the Mercury column was by Torricelli and thermometer, I think, was by Fahrenheit. I think he invented this style of thermometer. You've got like different levels, Himalayas and that. All this would you'd find on the old, the genuine old ones, which are collector's items now and can fetch quite a lot of money. The atmosphere on the other side. I don't have anything written on that one. Anyhow. I thought I'd put it in as a bit of interest. I know barometers don't seem to fetch as much interest as some of the other bits I put up. But I try and cater for everyone within my sphere of, um, of interest. So once again, thanks for watching. Any comments please make, any questions please ask. Please subscribe. And once again, thank you for watching. Thank you.